Hello, welcome. My name is Prue or Prue LaRue and today I'm going to bring you my NYX Face Awards look. It is not this look. This look's coming to you tomorrow. I just wanted to come on here for the intro and let you know that I did go back and just try doing the lips and eyes as they are coming up and I hope you enjoy. I had a lot of fun filming this video and creating a look for the NYX Face Awards. I would be absolutely honoured to if even if Nick's even saw this video. I love that this competition is still in Australia and it's just super fun to give it a try. I really put my heart and soul into trying to do my best for you. Um, and I figured if I can't do my best, I might as well at least try and make it a little bit funny. I hope you look forward to the end part and the effort I wanted to feel we good. Anyway, let me pass it on to voiceover pro because this look took me about two hours to do and I can't talk for that long. <laughs> anyway, here we are. I hope you enjoy. Let me know in the comments. Mwah. So, hey, this is voiceover pro. So I am painting myself or attempting to paint myself. The paint I got is a water activated paint and it was actually a lot harder to deal with than I thought it was going to be. And so yeah, this did take me about two hours to do. I woke up at 6.30 in the morning because my friend who filmed the outdoor stuff has kids. And that was the only time that worked. She lives like an hour away from me. So I drove out to see her in this full look. Got some great looks in the car. But we are doing a Swamp Queen grunge vibe. This person that I envisioned that was going to be the look. Well, that is the look. I is someone who's very anti-plastic, lives in the swamp, and is a bit like Mighty Boosh, Queen-inspired look. I want it to be all blue and everything. So I'm using my NYX waterproof eyeshadow primer because this is a person who's going to go swimming with the fishes. <laughs> Just patting it down and blending it out. It was really nice and tacky. My NYX Ultimate Edit, I'm using that sort of dark grungy colour and we're just blending this into my crease and sort of blending it all out. The NYX Waterproof Primer is really tacky and so it built up really nicely but it did grab at certain points so it just took a long time to sort of blend it out and especially for this kind of look I really wanted it to, to be quite exaggerated and very blended. So I spent a long time blending this and the order of application doesn't really make sense. I'm just going to warn you now. If that annoys you, I'm sorry. So I'm using my NYX Ultimate Brights palette and just going on that green and I'm blending out the top. I thought it'd be a nice way to segue into the brows. I wasn't game to block out my brows. And I'm just doing some of my classic concept that I do with drawing that triangle edge and blending it underneath my eye and bringing it up. And now I'm going back into the paint and you can really see where I've been having that problem. As soon as this paint goes wet, it comes off. And I was just like, what? So did that, dried it with my fan, and it sort of came good. Then I've put on my NYX Liquid Suede in Stone Fox on. This is a stunning shade. I am so glad I picked this up. And it lasted beautifully. And I think for the Swamp Queen grunge vibe, it really worked well. The NYX Glitter Primer, because we're going in with a NYX foil onto the eyes. And this really grabs onto those glares beautifully. This is in Polished. And I'm just blending it out and I wanted to sort of put it all over the eye, sort of like a cut crease. I am pretty low on coffee at this stage. I only had one throughout this whole time. It's coming up. So I'm sorry. But I really love this silver and I do love that look. I tried going in with molding clay. This was 10 million times more difficult than I thought it was. And it took more of the paint off. I was like, what? How long can I spend painting my face? This is ridiculous. But I was going for sort of a gill effects because this is a, you know, like she goes under the ocean, she can breathe underwater. But modeling clay and me? Oh no. So this, I just went off camera and argued with it. Then coming back, I am painting it with a bit of silver on top. I wanted to give it a bit more of like that gill effect. I really, mm, I wish I'd been able to come out with a bit more bang of a look, but I had a lot of fun doing this. I can't, you know, I can't complain. It was good. 
And using my NYX Holographic Holo, Halo, um, and I'm just putting this on as highlighter. We're going to have a real nice glow because we're a queen. Then bringing that up and around, I put that on the other side and then applying my gem because I feel like that's where every swamp queen would get her powers by absorbing and reflecting. Then going on my NYX Mint Cream Faux White Liner on the waterline. You guys know I love these liners. Then my NYX Epic Liner. This has become one of my favorite liners to do winged liner with. I have been having so much fun playing with it lately, as you guys have probably noticed. And here we are. Oh my god. Here it is. It's the final look. So I bought this beautiful Swamp Queen wig to really tie it together. And I kind of wish I'd worn it while I was applying everything because it really ties the whole look together, I think, anyway. Let me know what you think. But like our, eye, our eyeshadow is matching our wig. We are snatched. And oh my god, I nearly forgot that I bought these. <laughs> Teeth! <laughs> Some beautiful teeth because I feel like you know maybe she's biting through that plastic she's making sure it's digestible or it's going back into bins a swamp queen she's like got a bit of an evil streak and here we are in her natural environment at the swamp she's coming out and this is kind of I envision like those trees that's where she lives she's running out she's gonna come see save the day of Captain Planet old Greg style you know it's a bit it's a bit hard to run <laughs> and here we are we're heading off into the ocean we want to make sure there's no plastic straws out there we're not hurting turtles today we've got our NYX off tropic plastic bag to pick up any rubbish we find along the way and we're not afraid to get dirty because it's we're a swamp queen uh, <laughs> it was actually um, Quite difficult to walk through this. Um, yeah, I don't know. But this is exactly the environment I envision our Swamp Queen to be in. What do you think? Now, she's coming through. She is on the hunt, looking for that rubbish. We're going to save the day. And coming into shore. But we're a bit stuck. We are. Oh my god. <laughs> and I do absolutely wish my friend had told me to bring that skirt down because seeing that part of the green underneath the skirt, is, oh, I just wish I knew about it. And we are vibing off NYX. Thank you so much to NYX for creating this competition. I had so much fun creating this look for this concept, and I hope you guys have enjoyed watching. Because. <laughs> We're on the hunt. We are going to take down anyone who is littering. We are not about no litter today, honey. And luckily for us, we found, well, not so lucky, but some people, this is a local sort of, you can barbecue near this swamp beach area. Uh, we are picking up rubbish because we're not having that in our days. No, no, no. We've got this beautiful reusable bag that we can uh, take our rubbish away with. So remember that, guys. Pick up your rubbish. Don't litter. And after a hard day, getting ready, looking at snatched for you guys, going on this huge adventure. <laughs> well, one final look. Uh, in the full daylight. And yes, people did walk past us, just so you know. Beautiful, beautiful marshy grounds. We have had a long day and it's time to rest and relax, sit back and just look out for any nadus. Thank you so much.